In this video about writing effective paragraphs, we move from thinking about all paragraphs being complete meals to the reality that in complex technical and scientific writing, this isn't always the case. Sometimes this structure plays out in whole sections instead of every individual paragraph. The heading of this slide, which reads M-E-M-E-A-E-M-E-A-E-L, is often more representative of how scientific writing conveys information. As an example, here's a draft of a manuscript introduction. The yellow is the main idea or topic sentence, the green is the evidence, the blue is the analysis, and the purple color is the link. Its second paragraph is almost an example of a complete meal, and its third paragraph has all elements except an explicit link or transition. Most notably, however, is its overarching organization as a section, which is almost an exact replica of the heading of the last slide. Notice also that the first topic sentence is about how pre-exposure prophylaxis, or PrEP, with antiretroviral therapy might help prevent HIV infection. And the very last sentence is a link about how the researcher's goal was to figure out who would be likely to accept PrEP. In this way, the entire section behaves like a complete meal. So sometimes paragraphs are complete meals and that they contain tidy topic sentences, evidence, analysis of that evidence, and links or transitions. And sometimes this organizational logic is stretched to more accurately represent whole sections. But sometimes meal might feel like a pesky formula and not at all relevant for your context. So be it. In that case, think of meal as more of a useful meta-language for remembering what academic and scientific writing needs than a prescriptive formula dictating how exactly to write every paragraph or section. Let's quickly dig into the individual elements then as a means of demonstrating meal's usefulness. First up is main ideas or topic sentences, which need to be visible and easily identifiable, like names on office doors, addresses on buildings, or signs on businesses Topic sentences should accurately convey what's inside the paragraph. Imagine if I told you to come see me in my office, and that my office was in Central Building 100. When you arrive, my name is on the door. But when you knock and the door opens, someone else is inside. That would be pretty disorienting, right? In a similar way, if your topic sentences don't accurately predict the contents of the paragraph that follows, readers feel disoriented. Here's another way to think about topic sentences. If you went through a section or entire composition and pulled just the first sentences of paragraphs, would an outline of those sentences be an accurate representation of the text? If not, they may need closer inspection. Finally, a caveat. In scientific writing, it's often the case that cited source material, or evidence, acts as the main idea or topic sentence for a paragraph. For example, this sentence. If followed by more specific evidence about case management, feedback, and adherence, it could be a great topic sentence for a paragraph. Next up is evidence, which we won't dwell on for too long, except to say that evidence is more than just cited source material. It's explanation of methodologies and original observations. Basically, like all of the examples here, it's information that needs to be analyzed explained, clarified, interpreted, and put in context. Analysis then answers the following questions from critical readers. So what? Who cares? What's new? How's it all related? Analysis is often your only opportunity as the writer to insert yourself in the conversation by explaining why what you've done or what you think is important. Analysis is also like an insurance policy for ensuring that readers don't go interpreting your evidence in ways you don't want them to. That is, it allows you to control the message in the minds of readers. It may be useful to think about analysis as being both global and local. Global analysis typically occurs in obvious required places, 
such as discussion, implications, or interpretation sections of manuscripts and other documents. However, what scientific writing often lacks is enough local analysis, which needs to occur at the paragraph and sentence level, clarifying relationships and reinforcing the main ideas of the text. Sentences like these. The last piece then is the link, which is perhaps the most malleable part of this whole puzzle, in that analysis often acts as a link back to the main ideas of the paragraph, section, or entire text, and topic sentences often do the job of transitioning, in which case, just be aware that readers need cohesion between ideas, so provide links when and wherever necessary. In review, while meal can be an excellent way to help you get those paragraphs out and into the world, it's less a prescriptive formula than a useful way to examine your paragraphs to ensure that everything the reader needs is there. Because what readers need? Clear, representative topic sentences, a little more local analysis, and cohesion between ideas.